Hello everyone, welcome back to Mama in the Kitchen. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make Zahra Blaban, which is yogurt sauce with cauliflower and lamb meat. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the ingredients. Over here I have one onion, and then I'm gonna be using five garlic cloves and six to eight pieces of cardamom. And then you're also gonna need one head of cauliflower and about six to eight pieces of lamb. You can use lamb shoulder chops that are two inches thick. Over here I have pieces that are mixed up. This is not all lamb shoulder chops but that's what I typically use. And then over here I have canola oil for frying, and then you're gonna need about half a tablespoon of salt, one cup of sour cream, and about 32 ounces of plain yogurt. This is a brand I like to use. I feel like it has a little bit more flavor than just any typical plain yogurt, but any plain yogurt will work. And now we're gonna go ahead and get started. Ahead and rinsed out the meat with some water and vinegar a few times and now we place it in the pot and we're going to be pouring hot water over it just enough to cover the top and we're going to boil it for a few minutes and then we're going to be dumping this water out this is a part of the cleaning the meat process so we're going to dump this water out and then we're going to add new water after a few minutes In a few minutes and this is what it looks like and I'm gonna go ahead and dump this water out and then I'm gonna rinse my meat one more time and then place it back in the pot and then I'll be adding new hot water on top of the meat just enough to cover it After adding the new water on top of the meat, now I'm gonna go ahead and also add the cardamom pieces. And I'm also gonna be adding two to three cinnamon sticks. This is not necessary, it just helps get rid of that lamby smell. So you don't have to add the cinnamon sticks if you don't like to. And then I'm also gonna be adding the onion. Now I went ahead and sliced into the onion like this and you're just gonna add it straight to the water hole. And now I'm gonna let this cook for about two hours. It could be more or less depending on your meat. While the lamb is cooking, I went ahead and cut my cauliflower into medium-sized pieces and I preheated some canola oil and I'm gonna be frying these to a golden color. You don't want them to be too dark, you just want them to be a little golden like this. And now once they're all fried, just set aside until the meat is ready. Okay, so it's been two hours and now the meat is cooked. So when you touch your meat, it should be soft. It shouldn't be rubbery and that's how you know it's cooked. So now we're gonna go ahead and get started on the yogurt sauce. So in a blender, I'm gonna be adding the 32 ounces of yogurt, one cup of sour cream, and also one tablespoon of cornstarch just to make it a little thicker. And after blending all that together, I'm gonna go ahead and add one cup of the broth that we cooked the meat in to the blender and we're gonna blend that together and then we're gonna add this yogurt sauce onto the meat. And then you're gonna let this cook together just for a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add half a tablespoon of salt and I'm gonna mix that together. And I'm also gonna add a pinch of turmeric. This isn't necessary, it's just to give it a little bit of a color. After mixing in the turmeric, now I'm gonna go ahead and place my cauliflower in the sauce. And I'm gonna let this cook together for a few minutes. While the cauliflower is cooking with the yogurt sauce, I'm gonna go ahead and fry the five garlic cloves. I went ahead and cut them into small pieces like this, and you're just gonna fry them until they're a golden color. Once the garlic is a golden color, you're just gonna go ahead and add it to the yogurt sauce. I'm gonna cook this together for a few minutes and then this will be ready to serve.
been cooking with the garlic for a few minutes and now it's ready to serve. I'm going to be serving this with some jasmine rice. I have a video on how to make the perfect jasmine rice. I'll be linking it down below and I'll also leave it in my recommended videos. So you just have to click on the video and it'll come right up. Thank you for watching and please like, share and subscribe.